What's good, y'all? It's your boy, man, back with another video. You rocking with me? Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, y'all see the title, man? Rowdy Rebel drops new diss song to NBA YoungBoy and Quando Rondo. Now he basically scanning on what he said in his interview. He said, um, Lil Tim didn't have to get out the car Im immediately, squeezing. But that's considered pump faking, so I think he did. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though, man. I'm going to go to the next slide for y'all so y'all can hear this little leaker of the song. Um, Y'all let me know what y'all think about it, though. One second. Let me turn this up. All right, ready? So he's saying, he said, I said what I said, quiet emoji. Well, that's the sh emoji. Then he said, whatever y'all on, we on. Whatever y'all on, we on. Ah, 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 ah. And I um, I basically feel like it's a clout move once again with all these rappers, man. Anybody who even tried to pick at young boy at this point, it's just the clout move. They chase him, man. They know he's one of the biggest artists in the world. And they going to get clouded up if he even decides to mention them. Um... Rowdy Rebel, in my opinion, he waited a few days too late because Youngboy is off of Instagram and I doubt he's going to get back on anytime soon to address this issue. Um, so, therefore, I think it was clout chasing, man. His own mans didn't even stick up for him. You get what I'm saying? So, if that's like... Bro, let me I'm go so to the next slide. I want y'all to listen to this. Bobby Smurder says Rowdy Rebel was wrong for speaking on the King Vine incident. Sometimes you can't talk on other people's shit, period. Now, I just want y'all to listen to this, man. I feel like that shit came out wrong. He meant it in a, a good way like that. He wished that none of that shit would have happened because he's a fan of both. Mm. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? But sometimes you can't talk on other people's shit, period. So, Rowdy, I mean, Rowdy heard he went wrong, man. You don't put it in much like that. You know what I'm saying? But he ain't mean it in the wrong way. Right, right, right. He came from like a big bro looking at Not a big bro. I ain't going to say big bro. Follow my words. A older, a older black guy looking at a young black guy like the both of them wish. Right, and wish for this. If that happened, that's gonna happen all the time. Like that shit happened to Chief Rock. Think I'm pretty sure a nigga said something about thing. Probably like, nigga, I don't worry about none of that thug life, nigga. Brr, fuck yeah. you, do that. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like sometimes some niggas' emotions don't come out. So when emotions be hot, you don't want to talk about some shit. <laughs> I felt like I felt like that shit came out. Say, so I heard Rowdy man. He said sometimes you can't talk another people's shit. Period. And, um, yeah, he, he didn't stand up for Rowdy Rebel. And, um, this is not what they want. They don't they don't even want to go back and forth with Young Boy. Y'all seen what happened last time. Young Boy almost embarrassed Bobby Smurder. Called him a fucking slave to his record label, all this, that third. But, um, yeah, man, they know they not really messing with Young Boy. But I just feel like they trying to get at him, man. They trying to get him out of character. Um, Young boy, he on something different, man. He trying to push the whole stop the violence movement. Now, Rowdy Rebel, he posted this as his caption. He, computer shooters. I'm not sure what that mean. I guess that's what it mean. Computer typers, internet thugs, internet gangsters, whatever. Y'all let me know what y'all think it mean, though. But I think it mean, like, internet gangsters. Um, Yeah, man. Y'all let me know how I feel about this. Um... Do y'all think Rowdy Rebel should have even dropped the song? What? How many? Do y'all think he should have even dropped the song? Yes or no? Um. What do you think it's gonna sell first week? My guess is probably like eight thousand. Not even. You feel me? Not even. Honest to God. I think thirty-eight sixty sold like fourteen point one thousand, and that was barely with any promo. You feel me? Young boy took it off his channel and all that, but um, yeah, man, we're gonna listen to this one more time. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. But yeah, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. It's your boy, man. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts. I'm out. 
If you're looking for a music distributor to help you get your music on all platforms in under 24 hours, all you have to do is click the link down below and you will get 10% off when you sign up for DistroKid. Now, DistroKid is one of the best music distributors out there. I wouldn't be recommending it. Um, be sure to click the link and sign up. You do get 10% off.